Cocktails are a bit of a passion of mine, I might add. So I'm, I'm really with some great company here. Um, I'm actually joined with the head mixologist of the Cosmopolitan, Gideon here. And before we get on the cocktail circuit, which we're gonna talk just a bit about, let's talk a little bit about the Boulevard experience. We shared some of the information before with Andrew, but what can guests experience when they come here and, and get their cocktail going? Yeah, there's a private viewing for three days. Um, there's food, there's drinks. Uh, you get your own little area to see the F1. Um, it's uh, actually an amazing experience. There's viewing, uh, viewing stages, TVs, there's games, there's areas to sit and relax. Uh, you could basically spend your entire day here enjoying F1. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm gonna wanna spend my entire day here for sure. But let's get on to this really cool experience you guys are doing. It's called the Cocktail Circuit. So take us through what this is and as if I were to experience it, um, like for myself. Absolutely, yeah. well, as everyone knows, the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas is the best place in Las Vegas to get cocktails and to experience those. It is in our DNA, so what we've put together is a fun way to celebrate uh, F1 by honoring our cocktail DNA. We are taking you through some of our favorite venues, our favorite bars, and showcasing some of our favorite cocktails. Starting with uh, the Vesper Bar um, on our main floor uh, in the Chelsea Tower. Uh, we're starting you off with a nice crispy cold glass of champagne just to get your palate going. Uh, the Vesper Bar is actually a prohibition themed cocktail bar. Uh, it's open 24 hours um, and it's actually one of my favorite places. It's absolutely gorgeous. There are some fun secret things on the menu. I won't give it all away, but you have to bring a black light to find it. Ooh. After we leave the Vesper Bar, we're rolling into one of my favorites, the Ghost Donkey. Uh, you may have heard this, you may have not. It is a secret tequila speakeasy. It's located, uh, well, I can't tell you where it's located because it wouldn't be a secret if I did. Very secretive. <laughs> but we're featuring our uh, Burro Tropical cocktail here, uh, which features um, a five-year-old rum, uh, some beautiful single estate agave uh, tequila, and some passion fruit. Uh, we would then move you into the Chandelier Bar. That's three floors. That's three different cocktail experiences. Uh, for the cocktail circuit in particular, we're featuring our Verbena cocktail. This is a really fun one. Most people know this as the flower drink. This comes with a little Szechuan flower, Ooh. which when eaten, inverts your palate uh, so that your drinking experience is almost psychedelic. Uh, so this wow. is a very fun experience here. We've also put together a couple of other cocktails to showcase some different styles. We're very proud of our non-alcoholic cocktail list as well. Uh, we have some Mr. Orange Sickles Nippy Mood, which is a play on an orange Julius, if that wakens up some of your childhood. Uh, and then we are moving you upstairs to our fine dining floor on the third floor to experience LPM, Le Petit Maison. Uh, the Mighty Mighty Cocktail um, Program at LPM just won number 76 in the annual World's Best Bar Awards. Uh, we are featuring the great Tomatini. You can find this in 10 different locations around the world. It's the same every time. Um, it is a beautiful tomato-driven martini. Great for brunch, morning, afternoon, or evening. Well, I can't decide which one I want to get into but I, I, I've told you this before you know during the break that I was not a great bartender so do you have something a little easy for me to even attempt to do with this cocktail? I think we can figure <laughs> okay. something out. So what do we have here? One of my favorite cocktails here is the improved Paloma called the Old Tequila and Grapefruit. It features an Añejo tequila, some Grand Marnier, rich orange liqueur topped with a little brute champagne and of course... I want to... We, we have to go in just a bit, but I want to get into this foam really quick. Yes, this is a salty agave and grapefruit foam. You just take a spoon and you'll put it right over the top and slide the back down just like that. You are a professional. Wow, Michael. look at that. Thank you, Gideon. See, that's all I can handle. Elliot, back to you because I've got some cocktails to get through. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fresh out of my cards, my uh, cocktail making scoring cards. But you, did, you did a great job there, Jess. Well done.